Welcome back, boys, and uh, let's start with a note to self. Note to self. Leave before rush hour. Leave before rush hour is sound advice. I was on my way to New Hampshire for Casino Royale. This was a ride I like to do every year. This year, Rich, along for the yes. fun. If you're not confident and not a good rider, or you're riding a huge bike on this ride, like an XR 600 or something, I would not ride that hero section. You're gonna hate life. And so not sure if you caught it there, but that was the trail boss giving the morning briefing, saying that if you're not a confident rider and you find yourself in the hero section, you're gonna be hating life. Well, guess what? See the double blue arrows on that tree on the right there? Yeah, that's right. We took a wrong turn and went straight into the hero section. Evidently, we were doing it backwards. I've been told that before. A funny story though, we, we didn't actually know we were doing it backwards, we didn't even know we were on the hero section. So we got guys turning around here, no, uh, no arrows, we don't know what is going on. The trail, by the way, was amazing. Uh, although we did get the sense like, I think I was just here, didn't I just go down this hill into this parking lot? What is going on? It was New Hampshire, there had been plenty of rain, so there was plenty of mud, but there was this kind of fog of war thing going on, you know, like 10% never get the word. And I was kind of thinking we might just be riding out here all day, just like basically lost, but eventually we got some clarity. We've been riding backwards apparently. We have been? Yeah, apparently we have. <laughs> okay, well that explains part of the story. Of course, we still don't know we're in the hero section and just sit back and enjoy imagining the two of us thinking, is it is it 90 miles like, like this? Because <laughs> if it is, we're definitely not doing any hero sections. <laughs> Rich having a little trouble off to the right there, and we didn't really realize like the altitude kind of snuck up on us. So we came to these huge downhills, like totally intimidating. The GoPro, I guess, does it limited justice, but this part right here, crap in my pants. Eventually we got dumped out in a section that I actually recognized. These are, I think, the kennels for the dogs that used to race at the racetrack at the casino. Uh, it's kind of a creepy part of the ride. It's kind of cool, kind of creepy. I don't know, all these dogs. Wait till you see the little cages that they lived in. I mean, that's not an easy life. Here's Rich. He doesn't know what to... Go, go, go. Yeah, check it out. Like, all these dogs living here? Oh, yeah, that's awful. Reminds me of my day job. All right, so back into the woods we go. And I mentioned the like fog of war thing, like getting lost and feeling kind of stressed out. It's a turkey run, it's not a race. I'm not sure, I mean, I think Rich knew that. And it's kind of like, hey, it's not a race. I just want to get there first. <laughs> so he is dropping the hammer. I mean, we are, <laughs> Uh, we're not going fast, but it feels like we're going fast. We are working hard. Here, there's a guy, I think he's running at like 20 to 1. This guy right here, oh my god, it's a huge smoke screen. There were two guys like that. It was like uh, the fog rolled in, but it was just a guy riding a two stroke. As we come around the corner here, following Rich, my fearless leader, check out on the ground on the left there the skull and crossbones, like superhero section. <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing. We're riding like the hardest stuff, probably backwards no idea what's going on. All I know is we're in a huge hurry. <laughs> we have to get wherever we're going right away. <laughs> if you've watched the videos, you know that Rich is a great guy. He's a very thoughtful and, and like a kind person. But I found out on this ride that actually he has a dark side. 
Check out the roost he sprays on this guy just minding his own business right here. What is this? What? Oh! Oh, well, that's not very nice. So you see here, I, I kind of smarten up. Now I don't get in right behind him to get roosted again. But uh, another good example here, we're just riding along and all of a sudden this is really steep downhill. See, Rich is way down there. Out of nowhere. I didn't notice the uphills. But these downhills were nuts. sympathy for this guy right here um, he's got a street bike basically got the mirrors on and like that was me you know like a year ago fighting for my life just to get through the trail check out the fog guys the fog was so thick that rich missed that arrow right there <laughs> how, did, how did he miss that Says that's the way? I think so. I'm, I'm gonna follow the woman. Oh, I, I agree. Yeah. Decent way into the ride at this point and we still kinda don't know where we're going. The arrows aren't great. Um, we're doing the best we can, for sure. And then it's a turkey run. You come across these bottlenecks and it's like, what are we all waiting for? Can't really tell. We're not waiting for much. I can promise you that. My babe, I know she'd love me, my babe. Oh, yes, I know. Thank you for my bike, too. Yeah. My babe. Oh, yes, I know she'd love me. Don't do nothing but kiss and hug me, my babe. Truly, baby. That was really fun. That was fun. I think we did the same part like twice. I did. And then I think we did a hero section somewhere in the mix. Dude, that smoke screen was fucking bad. Uh, I couldn't see a fucking thing. Yeah, I think we all can appreciate a man who means what he says and says what he means. Now, crazy thing about this ride, you, you'd be following the trail on the road, like a road road. And then it would just be like this little gap in the, in the underbrush. And, and that would, it would be a trail. That's one of the reasons I like to do this ride every year. They're like, this is like a hidden gem. It's just tucked away in all these roads. Anyway, we, we get to a bottleneck here and I think all these guys were actually waiting their turn and we skipped them or something. I, we must have aggravated them because, well, it's a great climb. Let me leave it at that for now. You'll see what happens. <laughs> So I'm making pretty decent progress up this hill, I think. The trail seems to kind of merge to the left of these rocks here, and then bang! And that guy goes flying by, shoots that little gap. Now keep in mind, that's exactly where I was going. So he missed crushing me by probably two seconds. I'm just gonna assume for now that he's just that good, and I was never in danger. The hill, by the way, is, is only like half, we're only like halfway, and actually there's more traffic, so check, check this next part out. So 
this little group of guys plows past me and then they promptly all get stuck <laughs> right in front of me. It was kind of entertaining. I'm not good enough to really do anything about it, but uh, this guy here almost kicks me, I think, right about here. Is that right? Yeah, well, that's pretty close. But I'm sure he was in total control and uh, knew what he was doing at all times. That was fun! Yeah, I almost got taken out by some guy on like a 450 going 35 miles an hour. Yeah, I had moved out of his way, but if I picked the wrong line. That was a little cold hard truth there from Rich. Uh, let, let me demonstrate the correct turkey run pass. There, see? Eh, no, no craziness. Nice and easy. And we all get on with our day. <laughs> Really fun trails here. If you're wondering why I'm taking these terrible lines and not following the main trail, it's because I can hear someone, I can hear Rich, he's right behind me. He wants to get by and I don't want to like block the trail. I do it again here, again going off into this madness on the left, clearly not the line. But uh, you know, gotta let my fellow riders through. They, they want to enjoy their ride just like everybody else. I understand that. better get to the road apples first. There's a bunch of them up here. <laughs> get your passing done early. <laughs> One of these connector sections went right by New Hampshire International Speedway, also known as Loudon, where Eddie Lawson Sr. won quite a few races, and yours truly put it on the top box a few times, proud to say. Yeah, take a good long look. Many, many memories. And a lot of guys What's on your mind? Oh. I know, it's something. I just like to listen. Don't forget to do your uh, helmet strap. Yeah, I saw some of them. Do you want anything? See like a granola bar or something, I'll take it. Okay. We made it to first gas in one piece. Uh, Rich asks for a granola bar, but I know what he really wants, what we all really want on a long ride. That's a little gas station seafood salad. Am I right? In addition to the seafood salad, another poor decision that I made at that stop was to switch cameras to the GoPro 8, which gives us this crappy view pointed right in front of the tire, which coincidentally is exactly where I look when I'm riding. So this gives you an idea of what these trails look like from my point of view. <laughs> On this connector here, a uh, nice little a uh, nice little detail. I see a shadow go across the road right about here. That shadow right there and boom. Check it out guys. It's a real live turkey. That was pretty cool. Wonder why I couldn't shift. Oh, I didn't mean to throw it on your bike. If my shifter was stuck up, I had to like... So we ducked into this little hero section here and it gave me an opportunity to uh, demonstrate my uh, inadequate skills. It was actually tragic. I was having a really good ride up until this section. I, I do not know what happened, but uh, like a lot of, like why did that happen? What, what am I doing? I tell you what I'm doing, I'm not going fast enough. You see Rich right in front of me and there's, how, how big is this log? 10 inches? I mean, what? Uh, what is going on? Yeah, it was a blip in time. All right, <clears throat> had to stop to put the next GoPro battery in. Wasn't planning on it, but <clears throat> Rich thought that we should do the last Euro section of the day. And uh, I'm going to say he was right. But I'm going to say uh, it's terrifying. Let's see what we got here. This is going to be slow going. This hero section goes straight through a stream bed. I've never ridden anything like this. I love it. This is so cool. And uh, it's really slow. 
so I'm good at it we have no speed involved I uh, got a couple guys going through I'll film them just to try to give you some idea of the challenge That's it. GoPro battery dies. Sad but true. All in all, a fantastic loop in my opinion. A lot of people said there was uh, too much road, but man, I, I loved the day. thought it was a really nice turkey run. I refueled briefly overnight, and then it was on to day two. I came here to be one frogman stud. Now all I'm doing is dropping in the mud. Yeah, my neighbors had an interesting way of getting ready for the day. One guy had a pretty sweet 1090, which he liked a lot. And then, of course, we got our daily briefing. The red moose arrows are the novice time trial. It's approximately five miles. The blue moose arrows are the expert time trial. That's roughly three miles. So your time starts at that arrow. Okay. So when he tells you to go, you go, but he doesn't enter you until you hit there, so you don't have the roost us taking off. Yeah. When you come in at 100, setting the course record, you shut it down to that orange stake over there. That way you don't have to take us out. Okay? Great. Five miles of fun. <laughs> Rich took Sunday to recuperate because he has a real job, which is uh, actually pretty punishing. And two days out here might have been a bit much. For my part, I went into the time trials and I was on the 200, not the 300, getting into the power valve, gonna put down some sweet times, take my first left here, and uh, and then this kinda just, it was like downhill from there. I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking, I don't know what my problem was, I can tell you I was tired from the day before. And I can also tell you that riding the 200 is more difficult than riding the 300 by a fairly significant amount just because the 300 it's a little uh, a lot smoother the 200 is a little more light switch like you you go from off throttle to on and it hits hard wakes right up the loops were really good though this is actually the novice loop which for my money i thought actually was harder than the expert loop on Sunday way thinner, way thinner than the crowd on Saturday, but there was there was a little traffic on the trail. I think I'm gonna guess this is a husband-wife couple here. Check out the husband, he knows what to do, and check out me. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I beach my bike, I harass this poor woman, she rides away and I'm stuck trying to get my bike off of this rock. Did I mention it's a time trial? I, I don't think I'm setting the world on fire, I gotta say. Not even close. I, I don't think I set a particularly good time, but I was definitely having a good time. This climb here was awesome. It seemed like it was never gonna end. Actually, I started to figure out that I think we rode some of this stuff the day before. You remember we were riding the Euro section backward or something like that. So some of the stuff I think we did do twice, um, but I was not particularly well oriented, didn't really know where I was going. Um, there was not a lot of mud, there was some here and there, and uh, just enough to keep it interesting, but not have to totally spend an hour washing your bike. 
coming around this corner here. I'm, I'm, I'm ripping. I'm flying. I'm, I'm going. I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna get this thing straightened out here. I just did the novice loop. They said it was five miles long. I saw the mile markers and recorded my time as 10 minutes, which, okay, I've been away from home for a while now. However, I think I could still calculate that uh, 10 minutes to cover five miles is 30 miles an hour, isn't it? And I think I was probably going about uh, nine miles an hour. So. Let's go! <laughs> your time will start at that blue arrow, okay? Coming in, your time stops at those two orange stakes. Come in at 100, hit trick beat, 100 all bonus. Nice. <laughs> which one is that? Can I sit down? Huh? Which, which one do I hit? Guy at the computer. Okay, go ahead. Got it. <laughs> Here we go out on the expert loop, and it uh, starts on what I would describe as a supercross loop, uh, but which I think is really like a peewee motocross loop, probably. <laughs> I don't know, I really enjoyed it. I had some fun, and uh, for the first time in my whole life, I thought maybe I would ride on a motocross track one day and, uh, and enjoy it, maybe. clips right there do a pretty good job of capturing the character of this loop. Uh, long climbs, steep downhills, and some pretty technical stuff. And then out of nowhere you have like a rock garden like this. Um, I really enjoyed it. I, I thought it was great. I would have ridden it more times except that I was so tired that I could uh, barely drive to Dunkin Donuts and buy two double chocolate donuts when I was done with one loop of this. Like at a certain point you start to wonder how how far is this downhill gonna go oh, uh, there was a nasty little section right at the end um, which I almost I almost rolled down this hill if I remember right um, and then finally get clear of that oh yeah right there that's where I almost I almost bit it big time but uh, cruising down here we come across something that I never would have expected to see um, on a turkey run, especially not on the Sunday of a turkey run. It's a woodland creature. They're, they're not uncommon. You just usually you don't see them until you're right on top of them. Um, I, I'm, I'm referring, of course, to the photographer. 
and we all know what to do when you see a photographer, right? You gas it, which I did, and then I and then I gassed it again, just so that it, it wasn't completely obvious I was only gassing it for the camera. Uh, good news though, here's that shot. I got that picture. I look like a total stud, uh, cruising, blasting through the woods, front wheel in the air, uh, and nobody knows that actually it was just a half second wheelie that I did um, in between falling over and going slow. All right, I come through the gate here finally, and this guy right here, hero of the weekend, says to me, nice time. <laughs> I've never been happier. Well, boys, a fond farewell. Casino Royale. Quite a nice event. Really enjoyed that quite a bit. Well, Rich definitely missed out on day two. Those two loops were excellent, a lot of fun. Uh, I wish he'd been there because I think then we probably would have done a bunch of those loops. As it was, I packed it up, headed home. Time to clean off the bikes. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe and uh, see you for the next one.